Recording conditions are often less than ideal. In this video, we're going to see how to use Camtasia's noise removal tool to improve the audio output quality of your videos. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here, and if it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing, and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All recordings have an underlying ambient room noise or tone. Ideally, you want to get rid of the noises before you start recording. For example, we can close doors, temporarily turn off air conditioning and heating systems, and we can also add acoustic treatment to our rooms. However, it's not always possible to control the noise sources and turn them off. And of course, there are many noises that we just can't control at all should they occur, like car traffic outside, children playing, or lawn mowers and weed whackers. You get the idea. So what's the next step in noise removal? We can use Camtasia's noise removal tool. Here are a few quick tips to follow during the process. Tip number one, use headphones if you have to help you focus better as you tune the amount of noise to remove. Tip number two, if it's hard to hear the noise print detail, turn the volume up a little to help with the process. Tip number three, Tweak the sensitivity and amount settings to remove as much as possible such that the vocal frequencies don't get ruined. Tip number four. Do not copy a noise removal effect from one clip to another unless the recording was done in the same spot and at the same approximate time. I'm now going to walk us through a few practical noise removal examples. Okay, so now we're inside Camtasia and we're going to apply the noise removal audio effect, which is right here, which can be found under audio effects and noise removal here. And you can apply it by just dragging it onto the particular track, or you can select multiple tracks and choose to apply it in one go that way. Or you can select a track and then go to the modify, add effect, audio effects, and there noise removal. If you click on that, it'll get applied to the selected tracks. To start off, I have um, two clips here. One here, which is just a recording of the home studio ambient noise only. And then another track where I recorded my voice, but I left about five seconds in the front to also get a sort of a footprint of the ambient noise in the room. So we have these two tracks, but let's play this track right now, the one that has both, and you can hear, see if you can hear the, the room noise. So it's very quiet and it's hard to tell, but there is something there. What I, what I like to do is I like to add the audio effect of volume leveling to help me with the process so that I, I get a higher volume. As you can see, the, that the noise level is amplified. And let's just play this now so that you can hear it. See, it's pretty clear now that you can hear that there's a, a room noise there. And the key thing here is you can always, you know, either delete the, the, the volume level effect after or leave it because you're doing it for the processing the cool thing is is that the noise removal works independently so even though you use the volume level to assist it, it doesn't impact the uh, actual effort applied from the noise removal so now i'm going to add the default of the noise removal and that's so i drag it onto the track and as you can see here on the on the right hand side the noise removal has a sensitivity of zero and an amount of 20. So we can see what you will also find is that the anything you do with the, the noise removal does not actually alter the waveform. You have to listen for the details. So by dragging the effect onto the track, we have a default um, application. So let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so now we're going to look at a few. So you could hear some choppiness in the ambient noise section. Um, and the vocal sound fine. So the default is not enough of an application of noise removal. So because the voice wasn't altered, I feel comfortable in trying to increase the effect. Now, one of the ways we can increase the effect is to actually use the analyze function here. And what I'd like to do, you can either analyze on the whole track or take a sub selection. So I have focus it on the area that's just the ambient noise and I click analyze. So Camtasia does its thing. 
Now, sensitivity and amount of the, the, um, these parameters are set here. So they're just working with the baseline that the noise removal process has in the first place when it gets applied. But after you analyze, it resets the baseline. So let's hear how it sounds now. Let's just play. As you can see, it's pretty dead quiet. But let's see what happens when we let it play a little further and go into the voice. Okay, so now we're going to look at a few examples. And as you can see, so you can tell my voice has this kind of weird warping sound noise. So right away I know that the analyze approach is just giving way too much. So one approach could be to sit here and back off on the sensitivity and, and amount settings to work with that. So right away I'm going to like, you know, reduce the sensitivity because I know it's it's way too high. So I'm going to go all the way back and let's see what what that happens to do. Sounds very quiet here. Okay, so now we're going to look at a few examples and as you can see, and the voice sounds pretty good. So we can tell that that combination does work and we can further fine tune it. Um, you know, possibly increasing the sensitivity a little bit and, and adjusting the amount up or down. But you can tell that it was very quiet just working with this approach with the Analyze. But let's look at another approach. Let's reapply the noise removal effect. I already have the volume leveling on, as you can see here, to assist me so I can hear things. So we apply that. And by default, let's have a listen again. so you can still hear that that choppiness exists in the front end. So what we want to do is try and play with the parameters here now, the sensitivity and amount, to see how we can possibly eliminate that. So one thing I like to do is so that I, I, I maybe don't take too much of the vocal frequencies away is I just you know leave the sensitivity where it is and I'll just go to the extreme and put the amount to full and let's just see what happens. As you can hear, it practically didn't do anything to the um, choppiness and the sound, the noise. It pretty much sounds the same to me. So I'm just going to reset that value now, but I'm going to increase sensitivity. So I'm going to go to the end. So I like to, to play with parameters to the end and then sort of move them back and kind of see what, where I get. So this is with sensitivity at the max and, and the amount staying with the default values. As you can see, it's dead quiet. So I know now that leaving the default amount, I can probably, let's tune back the sensitivity. So I'm going to go to something like 15 and let's see how we're doing there. Okay. Still pretty quiet. So I could probably trim back a little more. Let's go to 13. Try once more here. Nice and quiet. Now let's hear how the vocal okay, is. Okay, so now we're going to look at a few examples. And as you can see, I have two clips here. One is of me. And the vocal sounds pretty good. So as you can see, you know, it wasn't too difficult to find a compromise. Um, we just had to adjust the sensitivity. And the result is actually, I find, you know, a little better than using the analyze approach that we used at the beginning. So with the next noise removal example, I have a noise that's my uh, computer fan on low, then followed by my vocal. So let's just hear how that sounds to start. You can pretty well hear the fan noise there. And again, this is with uh, the volume leveling on uh, because I will be using that anyways. And uh, I wanted to, so, to get a, a more clear sound for you to hear. So now I'm going to apply the noise removal and let's see what happened with the default baseline, what happened here. So you can hear that there's choppiness there. And usually with the bass line, the vocal's not affected. So we'll go here. So the background is pretty quiet now, and that's my computer. Okay, so now I want to fine tune this. So one thing I can do is just first zip the amount to the end and just see how that has an impact on the... the so again, you know, we still hear the choppiness, so I, I need to increase the sensitivity. So I'm going to increase the sensitivity to 5, and let's just see how much of the noise gets removed here. Okay, let's just play. Very, very faint. And then the vocal. So the background is pretty quiet now, and that's my computer. And our vocal sounds quite good. My last example here, which actually is the sound of a lawnmower, you can see the footprint is not, you know, a consistent 
noise, which is like an easier thing for a noise removal um, effect to remove. We have the, the spikes in it. And again, you know, I like to, let's just play it first as it is. So as you can see, it's kind of sporadic all over the place. And then there's the vocal in here. As you can see, we're listening to a recording where, let's go straight and put the noise removal on. See how the default with the values at 0 and 20, it, 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 because of the volatility and the waveform and the sound, it, it's, it's really, um, you can hear it ch really choppy. So, you know, again, let's just try and crank up the sensitivity to the moon and the amount. Let's just see what happens here first. It's quiet. As you can see, we're listening to a recording where but you hear how artificial the voice is, so it's kind of crazy. So that's, um, you know, not going to work. You know, the moral in the end is garbage in, garbage out. Wow. Camtasia's noise removal tool can do great things to clean up your clips. But remember, if you put garbage in, you're still going to get garbage out. And there are still some noises that just can't be fixed. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribed icon on the page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.